Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial video on the personal knowledge container. In this one, we're going to look at the domain manifest generator and the domain manifest publisher. Now, I've received this document from a scientific publishing lab. Uh, they are looking to prove uh, the date at which I received this document. Uh, this is part of a scientific publishing workflow called peer-to-peer -peer reviewing, uh, which we have made possible using the PKC. Now, if I want to prove ownership of a document, this uh, is also, by the way, relevant to um, legal, uh, legal documents, which you might need to prove ownership of, and also uh, patents. If you want to prove the date at which you, you owned a particular document, you can do all of this with the same flow. Now, first thing I do is I click Domain Manifest Generator, and I generate a domain manifest. That takes a hash of each of the documents inside my data vault at the moment and condenses these into what's called a Merkle tree. And the Merkle root hash is the overall fingerprint of all the data in my data vault. And we can see here, most importantly, is the document I'm looking to prove ownership of. So what I want to do next is I want to put this fingerprint in a public place so that we can see that that was the fingerprint of my data vault at this time on Monday, the 29th of November. Uh, we've made just the tool for that. It's the domain manifest publisher. And you can see this is the new domain manifest, which I've just generated. Uh, and what I want to do is click publish. And here, uh, I'm being asked, we're, we're making an Ethereum network transaction uh, where I'm writing this fingerprint to the Gurla testnet. So I click confirm here. And uh, we're gonna go and check out this, this block on the public blockchain in just a minute. First, I'd like to go here into my domain manifest uh, itself and um, show you that, well, we, we take not only the Merkle root uh, of the data, but also the timestamp at which it was uh, generated or at which it was, it was published. Um, that gives us this witness event verification hash with a high degree of entropy and therefore a high degree of security. And uh, so if we go back into the domain manifest publisher, the verification hash, which includes the data fingerprint and the timestamp, that's 81FE7A. Uh, and this has already been published to the Ethereum blockchain. And here is the exact transaction where we wrote it. And if we click to see more, uh, then we can see this same confirmation here, uh, 81FE7A. And uh, yeah, now I'm able to prove ownership of that document uh, at the date, the 29th of November, when this was written to the Ethereum network. Thanks for watching.